Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie the Leadwing Coachman. Now this is a wet fly that imitates the Isonychia uh, mayfly. So you'd fish it May, June area, uh, more into June, whenever you see Isonychia starting to hatch. It imitates uh, the Isonychia trying to get out of its shuck and um, emerge as an adult, which can take them a little while. So you can fish this dead drift or swung, preferably swung, uh, and it's, a, it's an effective pattern. I've done quite well with it in the past. So let's get on to the materials. Our hook is a size 10 wet fly hook. Our thread is an 8 aught in black. Our tag is a small mylar in gold silver. The body is peacock curl. And our hackle is brown hen hackle. And today it's going to be a bit of a challenge because we're going to look at using a quill wing. So if you've never done it before, here's your first chance. These are dyed duck quill. And you have a left and a right. In fact, if you run your fingers on the quill, you can feel that one side is flat and the other side is rounded. So it gives you an idea of which is the left and which is the right. You need one of each. And you cut a slip out of each one, about an eighth of an inch wide, roughly, maybe a little bit more. And that's about three millimeters. So you just cut that quill out and that's what we're going to use for our wing. So make sure you have a matched pair. Now this is duck quill dyed gray. You could also use goose. Uh, whatever you happen to have handy will work. So let's get started. Bring your thread back pretty well to the bend. Now we'll tie on our mylar. Now because we're tying on a silver tag, we're just going to tie it in gold side up. And we'll take a, a, a few turns back, bring our thread forward, move it out of the way. Now I'm doing this without using the rotary vice feature, just to show you that it can be done that way as well. Now once you've got that nice and tight, don't let go of it. Work that back, bring your thread underneath, nice and tight, there we go, and we'll trim off the waist. Next step is to put on our peacock curl body, and I've matched the tips together, I'm using four strands, four nice long strands. And then I smooth that down to the base, and I'm going to tie it in by the base. Now, work that way back to the silver tag. Now we're going to use a, a, a dubbing loop. And I'm going to wind that on here and get this out of the way. And the dubbing loop helps to add strength to the quills because these are easily broken. So we smooth that down and we take our hackle pliers and we trap together the, the dubbing loop and the um, quills together, They're peacock curled quills. Now what we'll do is we'll spin our hackle pliers uh, see, I've already had one break. Stuff is delicate, so I'm just going to move up a little bit. I've lost a little bit of length, but we should be okay. Okay, there we go. I'll begin winding this on. See some thread sticking out there? That's from the dubbing loop. Don't worry about that. We'll trap that underneath. Okay, now don't crowd the eye here. Uh, I can probably squeeze in a little extra turn, but that's about it. We need room to tie on our hackle, and we need room to tie in our uh, quill wing. So don't crowd the, the eye of the hook. Now 
Okay, we're going to tie in our hen hackle, and you can see I've stripped one side, and I've cut a little triangle out of the tip at the front. Okay, we're going to tie in our hen by that little triangle. We have the barbs facing back. And then we use our half hitch tool, put a half hitch in there. Now when doing this, be careful because the quills are easily broken on these. And if you found that your quill turned while you're doing this like you just did on me, you just stroke it back. You just turn one, turn in front of another. Stroke that back, bring our thread right to the start of the hackle. Now we pick up our, our quills very carefully. And we're going to mate them together. There's our quills mated together and we just extend it a little past the hook and grab it with our left hand. Now bring up with a pinch loop, pull down and then pull up. And make sure everything stays put. That looks good. I'll just put a couple of extra wraps in there. Now come in with our scissors underneath and trim off. Now we're going to finish our head up. The last step is to whip finish. Okay, there you go, the Leadwing Coachman. It's a nice Nikia imitation. So you're looking at fishing at late May, early June, depending on your latitude. It's a great imitation, a great wet fly for when this Isonychia is starting to emerge. So get out there and swing it and catch loads with it. Cheers.